we've been around for five years. There are about 700 members, and I would say over half of those are, are very active. Some people are so active that they use Time Bank services many times a week. In our Time Bank, you don't exchange one-on-one -on -one with another person. If I would help you in stacking woods for two hours, I would have two time banking credits, and then I could look to any of our other 700 members and get a service for those two hours, for those two credits. I would say that there's currently probably a thousand services right now. Cooking, massage, alterations, rides are definitely a big service. Aromatherapy, flower essences, taking your recycling to the dumpster, artwork, bookcases, weatherization, tarot card reading, bike repair. If you need iPhone tutoring, someone can sit with you and help you with that. This is something I started doing maybe six months ago. Um, offering to help people with their set up their computers and uh, set up their email things like that it sounded really boring like oh you're gonna set up an email account I mean this is something I've done a hundred times it's not it but what makes it exciting is the is the other person the other person's a real human being and you have this connection with them and then it's very full very enriching kind of experience so even if you live in a small community like Montpelier, it can be very isolating if you're strictly, you know, going to the grocery store. And, you know, if you're just using the regular economy, it can be very, uh, things can be very isolating, especially if you start, you know, buying things on the internet, you, then you really don't even see anybody. Yeah, you know? okay, sure. I, I'm learning to play yeah. piano, and uh, one of the members of the time bank is a um, really well-known piano player. the pinky on the C and then right. the... Uh, I've been uh, partially blind for a long time uh, through an eye disease and I'm not able to drive and it's uh, difficult to to do uh, public transportation in a time efficient way <laughs> particularly for food shopping. You go down this list and you think you can't do anything you don't have any quote expertise and then you realize there there are plenty of people that, um, whatever reason, they, you know, they can do A, B, C, D, and E, but they can't do F, G, H, I, and J, and, and you might uh, easily be able to do that. Um, and I need help with people reading out loud to me, you know, tons and tons of people do that, and tons of people enjoy doing that. I needed services that I could no longer pay for. And that's housekeeping and shoveling snow, help in the garden in the summertime. Um, I've also used my hours for uh, some frivolous things like a massage, um, a facial, um, decadent chocolate cakes, in turn have um, built up my hours by tabling, and that's really public relations work for Onion River Exchange. And I go to the farmer's markets and to our local uh, cooperative grocery and set up a table on Saturdays and talk to people about Onion River Exchange and give out um, brochures and have them sign up for our free newsletter. Most people don't want a table. Most people don't want to talk to the public. But that is something I know and I can do, and I do it well. Exchanging time for time. Through the Time Bank, I offer workshops on how to make herbal medicines, um, menstrual health, sexual health. Someone will look through um, the listings, and if it's something they're interested in, they show up to my workshop, and they just let me know that they're a member of the Time Bank, and later on I record that um, they came and you know I get an hour and a half credit. So they, they may have earned that from knitting something for someone, making a cake, driving someone to the airport, and then I get that time that I can use for whatever I want. I think that's the beauty of the time bank, is that 
you can find this wide variety of people and, um, and skills. One member who um, got married a year ago and his t entire wedding was through the time bank. The dress was made, the place, location where they got married, the food, the flowers, the minister, the music, all was through the time bank. A lot of people that I've talked to are interested in the time bank and feel the same way. That's another, it's a time commitment. And I explain, no, you, you can just post what you love to do and people will get in touch with you. Or you, can, you don't even have to post anything. You just look and see what's offered, what needs are, there are in the community. And you're like, oh, I can do that. Then it's really, you're not signing up for you know, hours and hours per month or per week of time. It's, it's, it's totally optional. This way of sharing what we have, especially when everyone gets to do what they love to do, as I think we're really used to, oh, we have to do something we don't want to do and go and work for someone else in order to get money, in order to pay the rent, in order to, you know, buy our food. It's, and so it's, it's, it's difficult to remind myself that it's okay to accept hours from people, even if it's something I love doing because I'm used to having to go do something I don't want to do. Well, I think people are uh, less and less satisfied with sort of normal life. I think that that's just the state that we're in, you know, that people do feel uh, that something's missing. And I think you hear that all the time, you know, and that people will be drawn to the time bank um, by their own, you know, um, kind of sense of life being somewhat empty and sterile. You know, life is about fixing things. Life is about moving from discomfort to comfort. But it could be that your discomfort is the most valuable thing that you have because it's, it's a question. It, it, it's opening things up. It's allowing you to see in a different way. It's the right thing to do to build community and connection with one another. Uh, in these troubled times, and they are troubled, uh, I think because it's been lacking, it seems to have been lacking for so many years, that more and more people are aware of how important community is. As soon as we became so mobile, we didn't need each other as much. And now it's being recognized that we do, and we depend on each other.